Hello, everyone. Hi, Courtney. We're uh, good morning, Steve. We're, it's going to be a great day, man. I tell you, we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, Microsoft Teams. You know, I remember back in March when um, when we were first being sent home, you know, <laughs> this kind of thing. And um, our boss called us one day and she said, you know, uh, guys, we're going to need a way to communicate with each other while we're away from campus. And uh, we both had been playing with teams, you know, for what, about a year or so, mm -hmm. probably. And uh, <clears throat> we said, hey, there's no question about it. Teams is the tool that we need to be using. And um, now I think if we tried to take teams away from our group, <laughs> we would have a mutiny on our hands uh, because it's become such a vital tool um, to our group, you know? Yeah. T teams is just... It's a great repository where all of our conversations can happen. It's where we can store documents. It's where we can work together and collaborate, not only inside our own group, but with others outside our group on different projects. It's just been a great resource for us. Yeah, you know, I think one of the things I enjoy the most about Teams is the collaboration ability, you know, being able to share documents back and forth. We're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. Um, let me switch over here, just another view and kind of so folks can see what Teams looks like. We've got like a little test site going on here. And um, on the far left-hand side of the panel are some different programs you can run within Teams. And then over a little bit more from that are your are the channels that you have available to us. And yeah. then to the right so, of so that, you've Steve, got... Um, yep, what did I miss? So, so no, I no, excited, I just want to point out with these channels. Yeah, no, channels are awesome because channels give you the ability to group those conversations by topics. Yes. Um, so you can see in our channels here, we've got a general channel, which all teams get, but we've got this brainstorming and we've got leadership discussion and we've got video projects. Now, one thing you're going to notice channels for anything, on right? This, anything we want, any yeah. kind of project yeah. or whatever. What's that lock? This, this leadership discussion has this lock next to it. Yeah. So in teams, there's two types of channels. We have our public channels which the public channel means that anybody who's a member of that team can see any of the information and files associated with that channel. That's fantastic. So this is good for just general projects and everything. So you want members of your team to be able to jump in and look at what's going on. Now, the lock indicates that this is a private channel that I'm a member of. Oh, so really? So no one would... else can see what's in that channel? If you're not a member of the channel, you can't even see the channel. Oh, wow. That's really cool. So, yeah. so, so I won't get upset that I'm not being included in another channel. Okay. All right. No. No. This gives you the ability to to segregate information out that's a little bit more sensitive. So um, – one of the departments I've worked with before, they used these private channels for their accounting team. So to for accounts payable, receivable, that type of thing, so that they so everyone didn't have access to it, but the ones that had it and needed it could get in there. That's it just made it really fantastic. easy to keep everything in the same location, yeah, but have a few these different things out there. And I think one of the things I love about this is that mm, over the top of the page up there, there is a, um, a group of little icons. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Links up there. So there's files and notebooks and things like that. So every channel has its set of files so that in general, we've got a whole set of files inside there and inside brainstorming, there's a set of files in there. And the people that work in those channels can go to those channels and access those files at any time. That's really powerful. Yep. Now now, the, the next level of this, I mean, we've got files nested with the channels, but where the power in the Teams app is, is I can go out here and create a brand new file if I need to right inside Teams, or I can click on any of these documents and open them and edit them right in Teams without having to jump out into another application. And you and I can go in here and collaborate and be on the same document at the same time. 
so we yep. can work together on that document. That is really powerful. And that'll and, work and, with most all Microsoft products, won't it? Yep. And, and, and this is cool, too. I just noticed this. They've got a new copy link that just showed up today when I came in here. Oh, look so at that. They're, they're, they're constantly adding new features to Teams. Um, so that's one of the reasons I love it. But yes, Steve, as we're collaborating, multiple people can be in the same document and working on it without having to actually exit the Teams app. So honestly, for me, it makes me a whole lot more productive because I'm not jumping between different applications. The other thing that adds to that productivity for me is the fact that I don't have to search for the document in email. It's cut down on the number of emails that I get because everything is here. I can go back to my what they call posts, right. which is our conversations. And we can see like where we are talking about any of this stuff. We can start a new conversation. We can upload a document directly in these posts so that we can have a nested conversation. I can reply to any of these. It keeps it all in line for us. So we're not looking to see, oh, was this the latest reply on something or not? And you know what's interesting? When you typed that post in just then, I got a notification here on my desktop, uh, blinked over here to the side, saying Courtney had sent me a message. That is just powerful right there. One of the things that we can do is this meet button up here. We can schedule a video meeting and talk about things while still in Teams, while still editing those documents in Teams. We can do all this stuff in here. So to me, Teams gets us that, that as close as possible to being in the office as we used to be. And it just makes things work really well for us. Yeah, and you know, in fact, I, folks may like to know, we're recording right now <laughs> straight in a Teams meeting. We just called a Teams meeting, hit the record button, and here we are uh, recording this vodcast right here. It really, really is a powerful, powerful tool. Now, you told me about something just a few days ago that was brand new to channels that, that I, that people have been asking for for ages. You know, we get these calls saying, you know, gosh, can I have a calendar, you know, in here that my team can work on and put deadlines. And, And I think you told me it's available now. So there's a new, um, app inside teams called channel calendars right i've added one here and it's really easy you click the plus sign on any of the channels up here and one of your options it'll come up in just a second is a channel calendar and this is specific to the channel so that you can actually have uh, your marketing your We have this video one of when we record videos, that type of thing. So this can be separate from your personal calendar, but any one member of your team can go and put information out there on it. And you can Um, have a calendar in every channel, can't you? Yeah, a calendar in every channel. You can actually have multiple calendars in a single channel. Wow. So if you're a marketing team, you can have a marketing calendar of when things need to go out, and then you can have a secondary calendar of... Things need to be developed if you wanted to. That's fantastic. So this is what the the calendar looks like. You just go in here and it works like any other calendar. You just put your information in there. You can add required attendees if you want to make it a meeting or if it's just a reminder or anything like that. You put your information in there and it's good to go. And it shows up in that channel and people that are members of that channel are going to get a notification about it saying that there's a, a new meeting or a new um, calendar event or something like that added out there. Yeah, look at that. Yep. So it, it's automatically there. And the nice thing here is because I'm logged into this one as me, for me, it actually puts this event on my calendar as well. So it does do a little linkage there. So if you're scheduling something out, it'll do it in both spots, but it allows the whole team to see things that are coming up. And if I go back out to posts, it shows up right here as a post as well. So if people didn't Um, notice the notification when they came into the channel, they're going to see the post and be able to link straight out to the calendar. And the cool thing about this is it's, 
it's an active entry, so I can go out here and tag you in it and say, add your files here. Wow, look at that. It's really, it You'll makes, get a notification. It just makes everything simple, doesn't it? You know, it just makes life yep. easy. Courtney, there is so much in here that we could share, but we're out of time. And <laughs> if if they want to learn more, we're off. Um, OIT training is offering workshops about this that they can get help with. Uh, they can contact the help desk if they want to, 974-9900, and just tell them, hey, we want to talk to the guys about a, about a team, and uh, we'll set something up there for them. And um Try to get folks involved with this. I think this is a tool that everybody on campus needs to be looking at right now. Yeah. I mean, teams can be used as we got this one set up. for It's a test for staff, but this can be used for your staff. This can be used for a project you're working on that's across departments. This can be used with your classes so that you can set up these private channels for your students if you want to use something like that to foster discussions. So there's wide ranging aspects of it and we'd be happy to talk with anything um, about how you might be able to use it. Definitely. Courtney, thanks for your time, man. We'll get out of here and um, get on with the rest of our day. Yep. See you later, Steve. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye.